Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to completely wipe a disk using PowerShell. So recently we did a video on how to use the disk part command with the clean function to completely wipe a disk. And then we also included a PowerShell script in there that you could run that will actually wipe the disk and reconfigure it at the same time. But if you just want to wipe a disk using PowerShell, we're going to show you how to do it. Alright, so we have disk management open here. So we have disk 0, our C drive with Windows. And then we have disk 1, which is a data drive here, formatted NTFS. So this is the one we're going to want to wipe. You're not going to be able to do this on the C drive because you're actually running Windows. You can't wipe Windows within Windows. All right, so let's open an administrative PowerShell window. So run as administrator. All right, so the first command we're going to use here is get disk to show the disks. All right, so there's disk one, our 100 gigabyte drive, which matches what we have here. So make sure you pick the right one if you have more than one secondary drive there. All right, so then the second command, clear disk with a disk number, which is what you need to change right here and remove the brackets. Remove data, remove OEM, confirm false. So I already have this configured here. So clear disk number one, copy that, paste it in. All right, so we got a quick flash there. Let's go back to disk management. And now you can see we have an unallocated disk here ready to go. So you just need to simply right click on it, initialize it, pick MBR or GPT, most likely GPT. And then you can right click, make a new volume, use some or all of the space, give it a drive letter, give it a name. Most likely we're going to want to choose NTFS and finish. Now our disk is new again. All right, so I will put a link in the description with these commands. So just run this first to get the disk number, compare it to disk management if you need to. Change this part here to your disk number, remove the brackets, run the command, and that's all you got to do. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.